What's going on, you tubs? It the Spectrum here, and yeah, we got a class setup video. And now, at the moment, I think class setup videos are kind of like, well, you know, no one's really sticking to the same classes at the moment. They're sticking to kind of the same guns because at the moment it's the guns that are, you know, the the thing people are doing well with and moving around perks. But at the moment, I'm rocking out the uh, the kind of different. Similar classes. I have changed them a bit since I recorded this, but this would be the kind of classes that I would recommend at the moment. So first off, we've got the Scar L Silence with Kick. You know, useful to handle recoil. Kick is the first proficiency unlock. Secondary FMG9, very, very, very good sub uh, machine pistol. Uh, very good akimbo. I haven't unlocked akimbos yet, but I've heard from people I've used them in private matches. They are very, very good. Uh, I'm not going to mention about uh, explosives and stuns. They're your preference. And for perks, I'm going to use sleight of hand, quick draw. Steady Aim, uh, they're all very good. I would recommend Marksman actually instead of Steady Aim, personally. And support, I'm using UAV, Counter UAV, and uh, Advanced UAV. It's just one thing I'd say about that setup it gets uh, killed very, very quickly by uh, Assassin, so maybe mix that up a bit. And I'm using Juice for the Death Street because, in my opinion, it's the less cheap of them. Uh, by the way, I'd recommend shuffling up attachments a bit. Don't just keep using one attachment on guns because you want to rank them up so that you can get that gold camo. It's a very, very good thing. I use this class generally in TDM. Kill Confirmed is a good one to use it in. It's just my general go-to class as well because the SCAR is a very, very good weapon. You could also use Scavenger with this class because it's more defensive, if anything. So, that I'm liking the SCAR at the moment. It reminds me of the SCAR from... Modern Warfare 2, except it's got a bigger clip, which is exactly what the Scar needed. Uh, and once again, it's much, much better with the silencer. Unfortunately, hard, the um, impact proficiency isn't as good as FMJ was on Modern Warfare 2. So, I don't know, we'll have to put up with that. This class is, I use it for uh, objective games. Um, at the moment, I'm using M4A1 with the red dot sight, along with the kick proficiency again. Uh, using the FMG9 once again, uh, Sleight of Hand Pro, same kind of setup, but for this uh, one I've got Recon Drone, Advanced UAV, Stealth Bomber, because those I find are very, very good in Domination. Uh, it's a longer game type, so you've got a chance to earn longer points. You can obviously catch uh, uh, Domination Flags to help as well. And so, yeah, the Stealth Bomber is also very good because it just covers the entire map, and it's a good way to get kills when you're using support. One thing, I actually use this class with the, with the attachments proficiency now, and you just silence it on the M4A1 as well. It is a very, very, very strong gun when silenced. Very, very, very good. Uh, I do like that, especially since it doesn't clash with Sleight of Hand or Scavenger. Uh, one, uh, frags I wouldn't recommend using in this game. I've been testing them out a lot, and you want to have more of that reaction time chuck nade, so you probably should go for Semtexes. And use flashes over concussions, because concussions and flashes through with the same kind of time now. Uh, so definitely go for flashes because they're going to be a bit more effective. Uh, yeah, once again, try and put a silencer on this gun, the M4A1, because it's 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 a very basic gun. Like you can kind of slap anything onto it; and it won't really make a difference. Unlike a lot of guns where you get a lot of damage drop off, but by no means is it like the best or anything. It's more of a jack of all trades gun, but it's not as good as it once was in uh, in Modern Warfare 2. Next class, we I just call this PP because it's my PP. Uh, PP90 training class. This has potential to be the AK74U of its time, uh, which isn't a bad thing. At the moment, I'm using it with kick. I should probably put an attachment on it to rank it up faster, but I was trying to unlock it with rapid fire. I haven't used it for a while, but it's a very, very strong. Um, it's a very, very strong submachine gun. Once again, using the FMG9, frags, concussions again. Uh, Side of hand because I've heard that the uh, reload is really slow on the PP90. Um, I haven't found Assassin because this is a sneaky class and uh, Steady Aim because I haven't yet unlocked the uh, Dead Silence. And for support, I'm using uh, UAV, Advanced UAV, and Recon Drone. This is a very, very quick, fast paced class, so I'm using fast paced uh, supports. I don't use uh, Assault at all because I hate dying and I feel a bit more ragey. And also, I don't like the Assault kill streaks. There aren't many that uh, really inspire me at the moment to use. Next class, the this is my specialist class. I've actually stopped using the UMP45 on this class, but I've used it with the red dot with kick. Um, don't use the UMP. It's a great... St I mean, it, it it stands out at the beginning of the game for some machine gun, but it's so underpowered, and you put like a silencer on it again. Anything like that, it's just not as good anymore. Um, using Blind Eye, Hardline Pro... No, just Hardline even. 
and steady aim for the perks uh, because I'm using specialist and a hardline plus specialist is unbelievably good. For specialist, I'm using uh, I've got the lineup of quick draw, sleight of hand, and uh, blast shield, or I think that's actually a, yeah that's assassin. So I'm still getting used to the perks. What I would do with this class, um, I'm gonna test something over the weekend, change it up a bit. At the moment, I'm using an M4A1 with I think red dot silencer again. So uh, yeah, the MP45 is not nearly as good as it used to be. It's good at the beginning of the game when you're first opening up, but compared to the PP90, it's just not as good anymore. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using it. Use it if you want to. You know, if you're having success with it, then that's fine by me. But I personally don't like it. Um, it's just not the UMP45 I've been used to, so I can't really, can't really go on much about that, even though I have done, um, no, it's not as good as it used to be, um, with kick, I mean, it's still got a notable amount of recoil, not so much that you lose control of the gun, but it, you know, it's idle sway isn't ideal either, so, I wouldn't recommend it, but using hardline with specialists is so good, guys, I would definitely, definitely recommend that. It's always a good idea. And finally, my this is my ham XP slash testing class. Um, I use it to get a lot of XP quickly and to uh, just use new guns. So we've got the Type 95, which is a really, really solid gun. It's being heralded as the best gun in the game. Uh, with the red dot, because I love having red dots on these kind of guns. With kick, I haven't yet unlocked uh, attachments for it, so... We're going to rock with that with rapid fire because that's a very, very good setup. If you don't want to use uh, rapid fire on it for some crazy reason, or you can just, you, you don't have to use uh, red dot or something, you can go with focus. Focus is a very good attachment for it. Uh, proficiency either um, stops you from flinching to get those shots on target. Um, once again, using slight hand, I might replace it with scavenger because I'm not rushing around with this gun. Quick draw because yeah, you want to snap under targets. And I personally use marksman with this. I just didn't change my class for uh, for the setup. And then finally for support, the recon drone, the advanced UAV, and the escort gunner. This is once again a ham XP class. I can use this in domination. Uh, recon drone gets you 50 points per person you tag, and then an extra 10 if they're killed by a teammate. The advanced UAV is just really really good, uh, and the escort gunner or escort airdrop. Yeah, it kills people and it drops you four care packages, which you can either share or use. It gives you a ton of XP. It's like it's like the emergency airdrop from Modern Warfare 2 on crack. I have yet to call one in and like reap the rewards for it, mainly because the one time I have called it in when I used it back at the beginning of the game, uh, it was at the end of the game, and uh, the second one got shot down. But that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and peace. That was in fact a quad right there. Uh, just gonna just gonna put that out there.